Hello everyone, this is my 100 gallon reef tank. I know it's not normally what I post, but I thought I would be helpful and share the par reading with these Nikru Hyper Reef lights and show off my setup. On the left, this is my controller, which is a Reef Angel Star. I'm not done with the cabinet yet, but it's getting there. I have to do another review on this controller because it's pretty awesome. I have this set up for my auto water changes and yeah, just a bunch of stuff in there. Camera's not picking it up that great because I have the settings adjusted for the tank. But you can see this. I have some uh, cyano issues I'm still dealing with, but everything else is doing great. I'm dosing all for reef and um, that's it. And I have a 20 gallon sump underneath with a skimmer, some carbon, my little refugium. And that's it. So I see a lot of reviews of these on Amazon and the par meters that they listed are actually not correct because these are super powerful lights. I have two of the 150s and I rented a par meter and so I thought I'd show you guys how pow powerful they are. I have them hooked up to my controller so the daylights are at 60 and the antennas are at 100 and so let me show you guys what it reads at with the par meter. Okay so these are mounted about nine and a half inches above the water and let me get out the par meter and I'll show you guys what the par is and this is a hundred gallon tank um, the total depths oops the total depth hopefully I don't scratch it is a 20 it's 20 inches tall so um, will be so they're about 30 inches total from the light all the way down to the sand bed so let me grab that par meter okay so I'm using this Apogee par meter that I'm renting from Padre Reef so the lights are at 60 on the atinic and 100 percent or sorry 60 in the daylight and 100 percent on the atinic so the blues so starting out where this um where this uh rainbow monopora is we are getting around 315 320 266 over here about 300 and then so we'll say this is about halfway down so roughly 20 inches below the lights if we come straight down below the lights I am getting about one night 200 on my sand bed and that's pretty much directly below and over here to your left where my zoas are zoas I'm getting around 124 and then all the way in this corner about 90. If we move it to the right so this is not directly under the light but it's close and I have um, this is an acrylic tank so I have a little acrylic piece over the top but I'm getting around 260 250 which is really good for SPS Pull it down a little bit more, 212, and then down in the center, not in direct light, not directly below them, I'm getting around 223, and then over to the right a little bit more, 206, and then we'll go closer in the center, under, not under either of them, that's 216, so the spread's really good on these. Okay, we'll move over to this side. I'll just show you. So I'm getting about one, 204 right here, 190, 204 right here. Um, my light kind of just moves because it's a little off, but directly underneath, 330. Down here on the sand bed, we are getting around 200. Over here in the corner, where the Zoas and Green Star Polyp is. Getting around 160, so a little much for them probably, but they seem to be doing okay. Next to this frog spawn, getting 150. And over here next to this hammer, getting 150 as again. Come here to the very corner of my tank, I'm only getting about 50. And it's a little bit under this wave 
pump, so that's still not bad for, you know, if you want to have some corals that need low, low light, some softies. But now let's turn up the lights to, well, we could turn them up to, this is directly under the lights, not under the waters. As you can see, they put off a ton of par. So yeah, be careful. You could easily burn your corals out with these. Okay, so now I'm gonna turn up the lights and we'll turn on just the Atinix. Okay, this is only with the Atinix 100%, daily lights are at zero. And you can see, I'm still getting a ton of par about 20 inches down over here still 200 195 200 so really good and the colors are great out of these lights the corals seem to be doing happy and so yeah I'm really happy with them but I just want to show you how well this par is hopefully this will help you guys if you don't have a controller I suggest you getting one because it makes it super easy to control the lights and I'm just using a little it uses a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, couple four post one to set up, so it's super easy. Okay, so this is the lights both out of 100%. It's super bright. Um, so I'm getting around 420 par, about 20 inches below the lights, directly below. And then down on the sand bed, still again in the 300s, about 30 inches below the lights directly below them, down in the center, still around 300, in the center, about 20 inches down, not directly below the lights, 250. So as you can see, these lights put off a ton of light and par. Coming over here to the left, down in the corner, oops, I'm still getting 190. And this is where I'll put my, you know, some of my more corals that don't need a ton of light. I try to put them on this side. Some of them still get a little bit too much light, like this mushroom right here, but it seems to be adjusting just fine. And everything seems to be growing. So, I hope this video helped. I'll do more videos on this fish tank and show you guys more. But, I want to go over my Reef Angel Star Controller and all the things that it can do since there's not any videos on it. But thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next video.